Okay, here we are again. We're at this so-called truth library. <sighs> I'm kind of afraid to recommend anybody even go listen to this shyster. But look how he's dressed, like a regular guy. He's a regular guy going to bring you regular truth. Wake up to the truth, he says. Untold history of America. Untold history of the Bible. Okay? So, um, all I want to do right now is document this was how to become a born again Christian. Take this all to the Bible. Let me and uh, I'm going to show you the comments. So all comments are six. Apparently the counter is off. Okay. So I'm just going to document this individual. I really feel sorry for people who buy into this. So what I commented on was these lies need to stop. To be born again is to be born from above. And then I show him the word again from John 3. Again um, from the Greek is word 509. And it is from above, implication in new, from the first, okay? Again, from the beginning, very first, the top, okay? So then I show in Ecclesiastes 12.7 where our father says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and this was about the cord being loosed in other words us leaving this flesh and he says and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it okay this is what a lot of people don't understand God created everybody who will ever come into the world and whoever has been in this world. All and all God created when he created. Husband and wife do not create spiritual beings. They create the flesh that God places the spirit being in and um, I would reference Elizabeth and Mary's meeting when the Christ when John the Baptist leapt in Elizabeth's womb at the approach of Jesus Christ those two spirits were able to recognize one another and most likely were able to um, analyze where they were and their mission as it was unfolding. Okay? Then I show John 3.13 where, once again, it's being reiterated, the Ecclesiastes um, information, and no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Okay? So, um, I posted that on on this um, on this person's uh, website, and uh, the other thing I posted was go ahead and delete my comments because I knew that he was going to delete the, the comments because these people do not deal in truth. This is the point I'm trying to hammer home to the people I know and the people that are part of my life, the people that God put me into their lives, 
okay that would be anybody who's gonna look at my video on Facebook that'll be anybody who who cares to review uh, my YouTube channel um, so go ahead and delete my comments I have screen captured them for our battle now you could say mark it sounds like you're looking for a fight well I am um, I'm not looking for a fight I am prepared to do battle against the deceivers of this world with our father's truth and that's exactly what I did there so then um, I went ahead and I uh, summarized what I had posted what I have posted means everyone who has ever been born into this world has in fact met the criteria of being born again okay as defined by Christ himself no altar call necessary no church lies from money changers who Jesus beat their asses out of the temple and he will do the same to you okay that may sound a little bit strong but it's not it's not strong at all as a matter of fact it's not even being as strong as Christ himself when he did beat those people out of the temple with the cat of nine tails and turned over their tables okay you wonder why they killed Christ that's part of the reason right there that he upset their money uh, flow of their money uh, for altering God's word even back then okay and he was there and his whole mission there was showing them and proving to them where they were twisting the word of God that's obvious throughout the scriptures and he's saying have you not read have you not read right knowing that they had read it but also knowing that they were lying okay to the children of God so he don't like that I don't like that and I'm just trying to demonstrate once again how these people go about doing their thing so right here I have prove proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that the word again from born again means born from above then I use scripture to show that God says the spirit shall return unto God who gave it from on high okay that's the top right here then I show it again and no man hath ascended up to heaven but he that came down from heaven even the son of man which is in heaven okay so let's look at what this gentleman this so-called gentleman this man of God has actually done here okay so we're gonna take a look at this we're going to take a look at this because it's very important okay you see these words in red I don't need to tell people who it is speaking I shouldn't have to tell anybody but in case anybody is wondering I'm always eager to share those are the words of Jesus Christ himself so what have we got here well I better go ahead and prove the other thing that I said because I'm sure there's doubters out there I know there's doubters out there because they like to live in their in their especially if they're getting paid they like to live in their lies they actually feel a certain amount of power too okay because to deceive somebody is to rule over them and keep them ignorant and obviously you can see that that's not my intention because I'm neither getting paid and I'm trying to show people how to go about preventing yourself from living in ignorance according to our father's word so here we have 507 um, it's from 507 from above it is 509 
Okay, it's G509. So here he is saying born must be born again. And if you go through this, you'll see that Jesus Christ is surprised that Nicodemus even claims to be, um, he's a Pharisee. And he says, uh, Art thou a master of Israel and knowest not these things? Right? So Nicodemus, you know, he's coming to, to, to try to, uh, he's coming at Jesus Christ at night because he don't want his fellow rabbis to see him coming to Jesus because they all are hating on him already. And, uh, but it, he, the, the, it does seem as if Nicodemus is actually, he's, he's, He's um, he's interested in what Jesus is doing, and he wants it's it, it appears as if he wants more of what Jesus Christ came to offer. Okay, and Jesus is just showing, "Art thou a master?" So he, Jesus is recognizing that Nicodemus is in fact a, a, a supposedly a master. Now. How is Nicodemus a master, and how is it he knoweth not these things? Because maybe Nicodemus was raised in an environment where God's word was totally taken out of context, or as of the environment that the modern day people live in, it was totally outlawed and taken out of the educational system. So <laughs> it's not surprising that we have so called spiritual masters now such as what this person's trying to present themselves as. And there again, I'm trying to show you that this person who's trying to present themselves as a spiritual guide or a, a spiritual teacher, this person has this person has removed the word of God from their page. This person has removed the testimony and the witness of a Christian from his page so you can take what I'm sharing with you and make whatever you'd like out of it I will bid you a farewell and uh, you can expect more of this uh, from me because this is what we're supposed to be doing you may ask yourself why does the world seem like it's so messed up right now um, I think we're kind of treading in that area uh, philosophically speaking we're treading in the area right now as to why the world is messed up as it is. It's from people like him. Okay? So thank you for listening to my video. Have a good evening. And uh, we'll see you later.